Hi everyone, Janie here. Thanks for stopping by today. I truly appreciate you all so much. Today I have a project that I really hope you like, and if you do, it would mean so much to me if you would give this a thumbs up and share it. And also, I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if you do, I hope you click on that little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you all so much, and now let's get started. Hi everyone, Janie here coming to you from Paris, France in my craft room. I wish. Nope, these are curtains that I found on Amazon and I fell in love with them and I thought they would make a perfect backdrop for my intros and outros because I love Paris. And they also come with different scenes and in different sizes. So guess what? I'm going to put a link below in my description box to where you can find these just in case you're interested. And an added bonus is they actually block the light from coming through the windows, which is perfect when recording because I don't need any extra shadows. So with all of that said, let's leave Paris and head on over to the craft table and get started on today's project. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card that is so easy, even brand new beginners can do it, and there are a variety of ways to actually fold it. So first I'm going to show you some cards, and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So this is the first card, and it's A2 size, so it's four and a fourth by five and a half, and you flip this up and it looks like this, like a normal A2 size card, right? Except that this also folds over and isn't that just beautiful? So really easy card fold and I'd like to share with you what I used to make this. So these beautiful die cuts that you're seeing, um, those were cut out of close to my heart glitter paper and I think this one is called Bluebell, and it is so pretty, it's not showing up good on camera, nothing ever does, <laughs> not as good as it does in real life anyway. And here is another die cut, and another one. And those are all from the same set. It is called Dragonfly and Flowers, and it is from In Love Arts, and actually has a butterfly as well. It's just really gorgeous. And this background that you see, actually that background as well, and this one right here, those were all made with washi tape. And these are also from In Love Arts. It comes 10 in a box, different sizes, but they all go together beautifully, and I absolutely love them. I mean, look at how wide these are. So it goes from the really wide all the way down to the really skinny. And so that's what I used was washi tape out of here to create those backgrounds. And the washi tape comes in different colors. This one is pink, that one was blue. They have so many of them, but I'll have a link below in the description box to all of this. And then not only that, I wish this, this would show up good on camera because it is not. But this paper that I'm using here, this cardstock, it's from Paper Temptress and it's called cryogen white. It's kind of an off-white, but it has sparkle to it. It isn't like glitter paper or anything, but yet it has beautiful sparkle that is just stunning in, in person. I wish cameras really could let you see what you would see if you were seeing them in person, but not so much. So that is the first card, and now let me show you another way that you could fold a card like this. So, let's open this back up again. What if you decided to fold it that way instead? And then it can get opened this way and that way. Or, wait a minute, what if we turn it this way and you have a card that opens this way and that way? Or, that way. <laughs> so many possibilities from this one card fold and I'm going to show you another card with another way to do this. And this is the same card fold but check this out. I die cut an opening so that you can peek through to the next layer and then this one opens upward like that. But of course you can have it folded like this, 
and open it up like that. So many possibilities. So let me tell you what I used for this. This little fairy right there with the flowers is this die right here from In Love Arts. And I don't know why they are not calling it a fairy die, but for some weird reason, they are calling it the beautiful girl with surrounding flowers. But look for it below in the description box. I'll kind of have it listed both ways if you're interested. And this gorgeous paper that you're seeing right there, and right there, okay, that is from Paper Temptress. Let me pull it over here. It is called Corner Vine. This is all that's left of it is a corner. <laughs> but it is called Corner Vine and it is screen print. So really awesome. I'll have links to the Paper Temptress papers that I used below in the description box, as well as the dies um, from In Love Arts and the washi tapes and everything. And anything else that I use, um, like, the stamps that I used on both of these cards, they're not available any longer because, as you know, I'm trying to use up some of my old stash, and so some of it is so old that, you know, it's no longer available. And about cutting that circle, this is the circle. Let me show you. I used a stitch die to cut that out. You don't have to throw it away. You can use this either on another card or make a tag out of it. It is just awesome. And this glitter paper that you see, that is from Doodlebug, and I've had it for years and years. I actually have a pack of about 50 12 by 12 pieces, and I don't like it because the glitter comes off. It is really bad about that, but the close to my heart glitter paper, the glitter doesn't come off, and I absolutely love it. So. Now that you've seen the two cards with some variations, let me show you how I made them. To make this card fold, you're going to need a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock. And if you have a scoreboard, you can use it. If you don't, you don't have to. But if you do, you're going to score it at 4 and a fourth inches, which is scoring it in half. And you will score it at 5 and a half inches, which is scoring it in half. And I've already actually done that. But if you don't have one, you can just fold it in half both directions. So you don't need a scoreboard for this. Just fold your cardstock in half both directions like so. Okay, and then you have your card. Okay, so this side is your card, whether it goes this direction or this direction. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off this section right up here, so the top right section, right here. And you can do that with a um, paper trimmer, or you can do that with a pair of scissors. So just cut it right along the score line, or wherever you know you had folded it. And I'm doing this quickly, so I may not be cutting it perfectly. But I just wanted you to see how easy this is to do. Okay, now we've cut that piece off. So we have this that folds down, we have this that folds over. Now, it kind of gets buckly because there, there's, you know, the paper is too close to the fold. So, what I suggest, and you can decide how far in you want to cut it, so there's no special dimension here. I'm just going to eyeball it for right now, and I'm going to trim that right off. Now before I trim the other end, because in my cards I had trimmed both ends, but I was just going to show you that you could leave it and it can sit up like that. Well, maybe. But I find it best to trim a little off from each end. And then, you know, when you go to put your, um, you know, layer your papers on, you're just going to have to measure to see how, how big you cut this. And that way you'll know what size 
paper or cardstock you want to put on there. So with that done, now it folds over nicely, just like that. And like I said, you can have it go this way, or this way, or that way. <laughs> there are so many possibilities with that card, but did you see how easy that was? You fold it in half, you fold it in half, you cut that off, and just trim a little right there. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to talk to you about die cutting. Okay, so I used a round stitch die. You can use any size that you want. And you can fold this over because this is an area you're not going to be working with. You're only going to be working with this flap right here. So you can put it on your cutting plate for your cuddle bug, your big shot, whatever it is that you're using. And I actually put the paper on first before I die cut it. That way I didn't have to worry about whether you know the circle was cut in the right place on all of the pieces to put together because they're already put together. So first thing I want to show you is that I used my paper saving technique and I'll put a link below to that video and actually I'll see about putting it right here on the screen as well and on the end screen so you don't miss it but it's from one of my Tuesday two minute tips and tricks. So I cut this out of that piece that you see behind there. Let me get it up close. So here's the, the glitter cardstock and this was cut out of the center of it. And then I put the paper across the top and across the bottom. And so when I cut it, which was with this, so we'll put it on there, and that is where this came from. I'll bring this back in. This was right here in the center and that's what got cut out. And so that's what you're going to do is once you have put on your layers and make sure that you know you cut out any excess because no one's going to notice it missing because there's layers on top of it, then just go ahead and put this where you want it and run it through your die cutting machine and it'll cut that circle out for you and it will be just like this. And if you're wondering, well, what about the, um, the glitter cardstock that I have going around the outside? How did I do that? I took a big die and a little die, well, the, the next size smaller, and placed one inside of the other. And I probably can't do it on this right now to show you because this is too big, but just for an example, it was like that and once it die cut it left me with that ring that I could use around the outside and then it leaves me with a circle that I can use for something else and that something else I used it for was right here on the inside so that is the circle that got cut out from creating that ring and that my dear friends is how you cut a circle out of the front of your card. So I hope that this was helpful and again this is really easy to do and really easy to die cut. Thank you all for stopping by today and I hope that you like this fun fold card and I hope that I made the tutorial easy enough for you to follow. And also don't forget there are links below in the description box to the products that I used today as well as a 25% off discount code to In Love Arts should you decide to shop there. And also a link to my Tuesday 2 Minute Tips and Tricks video on my paper saving technique. In fact, I think I will put a link on the screen here toward the end of the video of my entire Tuesday 2 Minute Tips and Tricks in a playlist so that you can watch them all. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider that too. And if you do, be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.